Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Carter Hour. I told you I'd do some videos and, you know, I figured, uh, you know, I've been trying to stay away from the political spectrum, but I had to uh, do a video on the uh, new birth certificate on Obama. But uh, I figured I'd change uh, hats here and uh, bring up something that's very vintage uh, that I got as a young kid back and had to be in the 90s from an antique store uh, I knew the owner of uh, this antique store and I actually got two of these I've got an older model of the uh, Zenith it's called the Zenith Trans Oceanic and I'm gonna open this up and demonstrate it hopefully it still works uh, I haven't fired it up in quite a few years so uh, it's, uh, it's got to be back from the 30s or 40s but uh, let me open up the uh, the cabinet here and uh, we'll take a look so all you gotta do is you flip this up open that up and there you go it's mono of course it's got a dial light plug in your big headphones and uh, off now and uh, it's got quite a few um, dials on it and uh, what you do is uh, it's got a wave magnet and pull that out I don't exactly know what you do with it I think um, heck I don't, I don't know um, some of you more experts out there could probably tell me what you do with that, but you're supposed to push down on the antenna and it pops up like that. Oops. Yeah, that one tends to come out. It's got a pretty big antenna. I mean, this thing probably telescopes 10 feet in the air. Yeah, it touches my ceiling and it's still not completely. So, that's how that opens up anyways. Um, I don't exact model on this or not. Let me take okay. a look here. Back here, I'll open it up here. Um, it's the, it's even got the operating guide in there. Interesting. Um, you can plug in a phonograph or anything's RCA jack right there. Um, this is a model, looks like a 7600, but I'm not sure. Uh, oh, it's a Y600. I'm just interested to know when this was manufactured. And I believe this was a battery. You could plug in the battery to it. Um, it's pretty pretty gnarly in there. It's been really cleaned out. Um, I had to say, I'd have to say around the 40s or 50s, maybe 40s. Because uh, it doesn't have FM, it only has AM, but it's got tubes in there. My buddy, uh, good buddy Max Arcade, uh, he'll know what this is. Uh, it's got a 60 microfarad capacitor, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not too big, I don't understand much of the electronic components, but. Um, and I don't know when this was manufactured, I have to look it up, but I've got another one downstairs that's an older version of this. And uh, if I spin it around here, it's got a retractable plug. And you just 
plug it in. And if you're running it on battery, as you, I, I don't know if you can see it, the light's not that great. You can plug it in there. That's where you'd get your power from. So let me go ahead and plug it in and see where we All go. right, let's turn it on and see what we get. Oh, looks like we're not getting anything. So I assume we should be At least we know it works on one thing. Shocking revelation that he was uh, in 